Hello everyone, Spotty from Spuds Guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to pick up a PVM. Let's go. So there are a couple of reasons why this attracted me. One was the price, uh, and the other one was the size. So the particular model that I'm going to pick up is a PVM 2950QM, uh, which is an upgrade over the 2730s that I picked up because this one has S-Video, and it also has a electronic OSD as well. Uh, and you can set all the geometry settings via remote. So um, yeah, going to pick it up. Price was really good. It was touch over a thousand bucks. Now people might balk at that, but for this size uh, PVM, which don't come through every day, or you don't see them every day, uh, I think it's pretty reasonable. So let's go and pick it up and take a look at it. So I picked it up now. Um, yeah, it's big. Uh, and it's in really good condition, it turns on, seems to work fine. Uh, no purity issues that I could tell, which is a good thing for me. Uh, but anyway, we'll open up the boot, uh, we'll take a look at it, and then we'll go inside, we'll power it up and take a look. Here we are, there it is there. Beautiful big monitor. Uh, takes up probably three quarters of the boot space for a RAV4. Uh, 29 inches, uh, has a Sony badge there. Good thing is there's no scratches on the screen. Um, the cover itself is in good condition, so we'll get this inside and we'll take a look at it. Right, here we are. It's all hooked up. Uh, just before I slot it into where it's got to go, I had to pull the 27-incher out, so the 29's going in there. I have power um, plugged into it. I'll just show you through the back terminals first what we've got. So uh, we've got speaker left and right over here. Now I've just bodied up a cable here down into um, a breakout cable into my Sonos speaker up the top there which pumps out a lot of sound. Then we've got our RGB connections with our sound in. And then over here, we've got two composite and S-Video inputs as well, as well as the power over there. Now come around to the front, we'll turn it on. Now the interesting thing about this, it's one of the few PVMs I've seen that has uh, infrared and uses a standard Sony remote, which I'll show you in a second, but let's just turn it on. Okay, wait for the picture to warm up. I think I've turned the Mega Drive on. I have. There we go. Now you see there's no sound at the moment. So something really cool is if I hit control, I do have access to volume on the side here. And you'll see here I can turn it up. And now that's playing through that speaker up there. Um, so I have full access from the front rather than having to adjust it from my phone um, or you know, going, going up manually, putting it up on the speaker, adjusting it as well. So the colours on this are really good, um, but one oh, one thing I will show you is if I just come over here and grab a standard Sony remote, you can actually um, if I hit, switch it off and then switch it on again. And also too, you can access the service menu from this as well. So if you do need to do finer adjustments, then you can access it by the standard Sony code, which is um, display five volume up and back on again so make sure it's in standby so the power's on but you've turned it off with the remote so if i press display five volume up and turn it back on again you'll see now i have access to all these other settings now this remote unfortunately doesn't have an enter button on it so i can't actually get into it but i can you can see there i can maneuver um, to whatever so if i was doing geometry i would you know go to that one hit enter it's a standard Sony code, so one and four up and down, um, three and six will change the selection, and then mute zero will store it. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll just turn that off and I'll reset the Mega Drive. Because I'll jump into 240p test suite. I'll turn it back on again. I'll just turn that off and then back on. So we'll just jump across the 240p test suite. Now I can see the geometry is already off a little bit on this, but it's not, it's not worrying. It's not like I'm worried, oh geez, all the capacitors are gone. So you can see up in this corner here a little bit, it's bowed out, just a touch. Um, but the rest of it looks, looks pretty good. Um, and this corner here is bowed over this way a little bit as well. So I should be able to adjust that in the geometry settings, hopefully. Um, but if we jump in, have a look at the test patterns. I'm not real worried about the grid. Like I, people spend a lot of time on the grid, but you know there it is. There, it's pretty square. It's not going to cause me any major issues. 
a couple of the ones that I do worry about is the purity. And these screens are good for purity. Uh, there's no discoloration on these screens whatsoever, which is really good. And also checking all the color bars are, uh, not that one. Uh, which one is it? That one, I think is it. This one here. So have a look at that. All the guns there are pretty even. You know, one's not brighter than the other one. One doesn't start, you know, before the other one. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. So it's not going to be really a test until we put a game on. Uh, let's have a look. We'll do Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've just picked a random one there. Hopefully it has nice colours. As you can see there, really nice picture. I hope they've picked it up. Really, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, really happy with that. As you can see the volume there, I can turn the volume up and down if I wanted to. Yeah. Which I think is really cool. I don't, I've never seen that in a PVM before. Um, especially one this size. So, you'll see at the top, geometry is nice and square. You don't even notice that little kick. Uh, well, I certainly don't when I'm playing a game. So I'm not too worried about that. But overall, yeah, really happy. The one last thing I mentioned before I wrap up the video is the actual service menu itself. You know, one of the advantages of this, it does have the electronic service menu. To access that, it's really easy. Just press the control button, which will light up this panel on the side. And then just press menu, and you can see it brings up this menu here. Now, just keep pressing menu, and it'll bring you to menu two. Now, this is the good bit. So you can do horizontal center, as well as size, and vertical center and size as well. You can also degauss from this menu if you need to, if you've got a couple of colors that are off. Uh, and then there's a heap of other ones you can change as well. So, uh, and this is one here's good as well. So this tilt correction, so if people are familiar with the more so, the consumer Trinitrons, uh, where it tilts a picture side to side from the uh, remote, it can be done in here as well. So you don't have to go and do a yoke adjustment at the back if the screen's slightly tilted. Um, you can do the adjustments here from the, uh, the on-screen menu. So I thought I'd just show you that because it's a really cool feature of this particular PVM. That's it from me, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I certainly enjoyed making it. Obviously, picking up a, a PVM this size is always enjoyable. Uh, I've never had one this big before, so uh, certainly a keeper. Unfortunately, now I've got to offload some other ones, but um, in saying that, you know, it's well worth it, well worth the time and effort to do so. So uh, that's it for this video. I much appreciated uh, everyone subscribing and watching the videos. You know, I've had a, had a big influx of subscribers of late, so that's always a positive. Uh, and I thank everyone for subscribing. Uh, but until the next video, I'll see you then.